It's true! Asteroids come in a variety of shapes and sizes. One of the largest is Vesta. Its diameter is bigger than the length of a Grand Canyon. The smallest asteroid ever observed is smaller than a car. But what are asteroids? Scientists call them minor planets because they're too small to be real planets and can't be classified as comets. Asteroids orbit the Sun in the asteroid belt that lies between Mars and Jupiter. Scientists believe that asteroids formed as a result of collisions in the past. Billions of years ago, ancient planets crashed together. The planets burst into pieces. Larger fragments became asteroids, smaller ones are called meteoroids. Some come too close to our planet's orbit and even fall on Earth. Most meteorites don't make it to our surface, though. They burn up in the atmosphere. But the largest known intact meteorite is named Hoba. Hoba fell to Earth in prehistoric times, but was only discovered a century ago in Namibia. This iron meteorite weighs as much as 10 elephants. Because of its large mass, Hoba remains in the exact place where it fell. This car-sized meteorite is the largest piece of iron of natural origin on the planet. And though it seems big, it's nothing compared to the asteroids in space. When it comes to meteors, though, jewelry could literally fall from the sky. If you want to know how, well, some meteors are made of diamonds, gold, nickel, and platinum. But sorry to disappoint you, you won't find a gold meteorite here on Earth. Because when it enters the Earth's atmosphere, it heats up to such incredible high temperatures that precious metals melt and evaporate. Maybe fallen meteorites won't make you rich, but what about the ones in space? A few years ago, a small asteroid zoomed past our planet. It's so small it doesn't have a name, just a number. 2011 UW-158. It flew very close to Earth and gave scientists an opportunity to observe it. Hey, you know the old saying, you can observe a lot just by watching. They found a lot of platinum and other valuable elements. Possibly up to $5 trillion worth of metals. 2011 UW-158 could have made you rich, but too bad it's gone. Are there other asteroids that could make us rich? Yes! This one is a real out-of-this-world treasure. 16 Psyche, called the Golden Asteroid. Psyche is one of the biggest asteroids in the belt. The amount of iron on Psyche is so high that it could satisfy people's needs for thousands of years. The asteroid also may contain platinum, iron, nickel, and gold. The total value of all metals in Psyche is about 10,000 quadrillion dollars. That number is 10,000 followed by 15 zeros. Count them all. This money would be enough to make all people on Earth billionaires. The U.S. Space Agency is getting ready to launch a spacecraft to explore the golden asteroid. The flight will last around 5 years, and the stay on Psyche will take 21 months. Scientists intend to investigate the asteroid to learn more about Earth. Why? Because Psyche's composition is similar to the core of our planet. Together with its size, this leads to the theory that 16 Psyche could be the remnant of the core of a planet very similar to Earth. Scientists have special hopes for metal asteroids, since they could be mined and used to build spaceships and space colonies. Asteroids move through space, yes, but with a certain trajectory. Their path is set by gravity. Asteroids usually rotate, but not quite like the Earth does. Their rotation isn't so smooth because the asteroids aren't spherical. Because we can map their path, we might be able to mine them. But asteroid mining could lead to the collapse of the global economy. And it might not make us rich. Because if we mine too many precious metals from asteroids, they won't be rare and valuable on Earth anymore. Luckily, metal isn't the only valuable resource up there. Astronomers say some asteroids have frozen water inside them. People could use it to produce rocket engine propellant for possible space colonization in the future. Some companies already think that mining asteroids is a good idea, too. How would they do it? Well, they would use three possible methods. The first would be to bring raw asteroid material down to Earth and use it here. The second would be to process the materials on site out in space. We need a spaceship and specialized tools for that. But the wildest idea is to bring the asteroid closer to the Earth to mine it. 
Doing this would require robots that would anchor the iron asteroid with simple magnets and pull it to a safe orbit around the Moon or the Earth. The asteroids with less metal could be caught with special harpoons or claws and then be mined safely. We know asteroids can be dangerous, though. Just look at what happened to the dinosaurs. A big asteroid hitting a planet can cause earthquakes, tsunamis, and raise so much dirt and debris in the atmosphere that it would block out the sunlight. No worries, though. Space agencies are always keeping an eye on them and making sure that none are currently on a collision course with our planet. What else is worth a lot of money up there? Well, the most expensive man-made object is also in space, and that is the International Space Station. It took roughly $150 billion to build it, and maintaining and supporting the ISS costs $3 to $4 billion a year. ISS circles the planet every 90 minutes, which means astronauts on board see the sunset every hour and a half. But the most expensive thing known is dark matter. It's also the most mysterious substance. It doesn't absorb, reflect, or emit light, so it's completely invisible. To study dark matter, scientists need very complex and expensive tools, such as xenon gas. The cost of all this is no less than $10 million, making dark matter a very expensive material, or anti-material, with a cost of a million trillion trillion dollars per ounce. But you can't get free shipping with Amazon Prime. Yeah, space exploration can be a very expensive enterprise, but technologies developed during that exploration are used every day on Earth, like digital cameras, maps, internet, global communication, and weather prediction. This is all thanks to the efforts of scientists and astronauts.